Okay, hey guys, this is EasyCraft. Um, I haven't, uh, hey guys, uh, this is EasyCraft. I haven't recorded a video in a while. Um, and that, I'm sorry for that. That is because my, um, computer has been running really slow because I've been storing all the videos on it. And it's been taking forever to upload. Like, it literally took 48 hours to upload a seven minute video. And so I was just like, you know what, I'm done with this. And so I decided that I was going to take a break until um, I could get a hard drive or something. And I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to work on that so I can store my videos, which is probably a good idea. That way I can keep them and still have it run fast enough. Um, external hard drive. But so yeah, I've been working on Tech It a lot. I really like it. And so I wanted to show you guys my world. Um... I've, I've been working on our the Tech It project world. I haven't been spawning anything still. And I put a lot of time into it. And it looks really good. So this is kind of just an episode to show you guys what has become of our little tiny world. Um, <coughs> I've learned a lot about Tech It through the wiki. Um, through a little tip I'm going to show you guys. Um, and once you get really down to it, it's not that hard. It's just, it's really overwhelming <clears throat> at the beginning, but if you can find a guide or something to help you through the initial steps, you catch on incredibly quickly. Basically, um, what you need is a generator, and once you have a generator, you can power your machines, and with your machines, they make everything so much easier. And again, you don't need to use any machines, but... I've made my life about 14 times simpler with them. Anyway, here we go. So, um, this is so exciting. Uh, here we go. This is our house. It's changed a little bit, I know. You guys are like, what is all that? Um, I'll give you guys a proper tour and everything. I just first wanted to show you guys around a little bit. Um, uh, let's start out here. So this is our quarry. Basically, um, you put this machine down, that machine right there that's pumping out the coal, and you power it, and then it starts making this big outline. Now, it can make this outline on its own, or you can um, set your areas for it. You can set areas by placing down those blue torches. I'll show you how to make those in a minute. Um... And then basically it makes this laser, and it just goes all the way around, down each layer and each layer, all the way down until it hit, hits a pool of lava or bedrock. And so that's a really cool way to get it to mine for you, but that takes a lot of power. I'll show you how to compensate for that amount of power needed in a minute. And basically what I've done is all the materials it digs is getting transported out up through this wire. It's getting brought... I love how it opens both doors like that. It's getting brought into, um, where's it getting brought into? I'm so confused. Up into this thing, this little piece is really cool. You can make it so if a cable leads into this, this is basically a sorting thing. So if any of these items come to this sorting pipe, they all go out the black side. Or the red side, sorry, my bad. Um, wait. Yeah, so if any, uh, say any good materials come, like a piece of coal or an appetite or something, they go into red. That way I can have that lead into a chest, and so it can be all organized. And then if anything bad comes, I can lead it into black, black right here, and it gets transported into like a cobblestone chest. That way you keep things organized, and so you can keep it automated. Um, and I'll try to keep it basic, so, um, basically... Uh, my first generator, gen gen generator, generator was right here. Um, and what a generator does is it sends out power through these cables to machines, such as the um, that's another generator, such as the compressor, the extractor, that's just another compressor, a macerator, a uh, recycler, all kinds of stuff that I don't have here right now. Um, and so basically what I've done is this is a bat box which is basically a storage unit for power. So if you want to just store up your power and you don't have something to use it for, so say you wanted to store up power and not send it to the quarry yet, you would make a bat box or an upgraded version like one of those. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, 
you make it so the power flows down through one of these pipes into this black box and then it can be stored right in here now what's up here is windmills actually I have one there one over there up there along those glass pipes you can see way up there and then immediately there and that leading from that wire and two more right there are solar panels so that's all bringing power down into this bat box which then um, and these generators are also distributing power into the bat box so basically this just holds all my power and then I can use it for other machines later <coughs> um, so let's start with uh, I just get I guess just the um let's start with the generator so the first usually the first thing you would build in a w new world is a generator um using coal so it's not very efficient but it works it works good enough using coal or wood or anything like that it pumps out power to machines now the first machine I would recommend building is something called the macerator um this is gonna be kinda daunting but um <laughs> one of these machines right here is a macerator this white thing Basically, if you put an um, if you put a uh, um, I'm trying to think if it's an ore or an ingot. No, if you put a piece, if you put an ore in here, let me test it. I, guys, I've never actually spawned stuff, but just for the sake of simp simplicity and time, I'm gonna show you guys this using that. Okay, yeah. Um, so if you put an ore into here, it'll smelt into a dust two dust actually so one ore equals two dust and then if you smelt that ore in a normal furnace then you get two uh, ingots so basically that's like a two for one thing if you use a macerator first those, so those are really helpful um, so that's what the macerator is so I would highly recommend making one of those to be in the beginning oh and this is um, my little coal, pump, uh, coal thing right out here there's an underground wire that leads over to my pump out there. I'll show you guys that in a little while. <clears throat> um, here is my tools chest, just some extra tools I have laying around. This is an amazingly good thing. It took me forever to get the materials to make it. I'll show you guys that later. I don't have anything in that chest. And here's my chest of kind of, or actually first, this is what's called a transmutation table. This is amazingly cool. Um, again, let's use these. Uh, yeah. So, every item has a thing called an EMC, which is almost like a stat of the item. So, if you put a sapphire ore in, it doesn't work. <laughs> so, yeah, so don't do that. Um, let me try an ingot. Probably that one's what's better. Ingot. Um, so, gold ingot. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm using the um, SF... No, SP... H A X Sfax B D Craft Texture Pack. Um, yeah. So say we put a piece of coal, a gold in, that has two thousand uh, yeah, two thousand and forty eight EMC. So any other item that has less or equal to that EMC, you can change this gold into. So say I don't want the gold, but I want a sapphire. Bam, now I have a sapphire. So that's really, really, really useful. And another trick that's amazingly helpful, guys, if you know what you want to build, but you don't know the recipe to build it, so say you want to make a generator. Generator. Style typing. Generator. But you don't know how to make one. You just look and find it. Or you say, oh, there it is. And then make sure you're not typing anymore. So if you do this, if you're still like that, it won't work. So click into here so you're not typing. And then click R and it'll bring up how to craft it which is really cool and then you can just see how to make all these items so you can see exactly how to make what you want so it's really cool oh and just a little tip for this guys this confused me for a while certain items uh... have like uh... Um, a battery in them so like they could be full or empty see if you try to click R on that it won't work because that's an item that has been used like it's low a little bit of power so but if you type in R E battery that and that's what it's called and you click on the one that hasn't been used yet then you can see how to make it that's just a little tip that's probably gonna help you guys a lot um yeah so this is my junk chest I have um a rubber tree saplings I'll tell you what those do clay sword bat some batteries tree tap that I can basically plug those into a certain kind of tree and I get um rubber out 
some scrap, uh, tin, I don't know what that's for, I just accidentally made it once, uh, cooked chicken, redstone torches, jetpack, oh yeah, I'll show you guys that in a little bit, um, cobblestone transport pipe, this is that, so, if you guys wanted to know, <clears throat> glass, apples, wheat, snow, stuff, stuff, you know, you guys know what all this is, basically, Glass fiber cables, that's the thing you saw up on the solar rays, right? Uh, solar thingy panels, those. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm up here, we have some good stuff. More glass fiber, coal dust. I don't know what this does. I made it and then couldn't figure out what it does. Some bronze armor, dark matter. Now, this stuff is incredibly hard to make, but it's one of the best materials in the game. You make a pick pickaxe out of this, it's as fast as diamond, but it never breaks. So, uh, yeah awesome uh here's some raw chicken feathers copper cable this sends power from the generator to the thing so if you say you have a generator placed right here and then if you and then you have a macerator here and you want to get power from here to here put down a copper cable or a glass fiber and it'll send power if you don't have any cables otherwise you just have to make um you just have to put them right next to each other which is inconvenient and to make these cables, you need um, rubber. And to get rubber and copper, to get rubber, you need to either find a tree that has. Let me see if I can give you guys. I'm not sure if I can give you guys an example. Um, so get your tree tap. It's really simple to make these. Just a couple pieces of wood. Nice. There we go. A couple pieces of wood. Um. But so yeah, uh, I have my own little farm of them right. Or I did. I hope they're still there. Uh, my own little farm of them right up here if they're still there, so I don't have to go adventuring, but you, yeah, they're still here. Usually you have to go and find, you have to look for a tree, but when you, you'll see a tree, um, with, like, two spouts of leaves just randomly sticking out the top. That's how you know it's a rubber tree. And then you see this little blotch, and you think, oh, what does this do? You come up with your tree tap, right-click it, bam, this spills out. Sticky resin. Smelt that, and it turns into rubber. Get as much of this stuff as you can, and then make a uh, tree farm of, of it. Because this stuff is really important. You're going to need a lot of it. So I highly suggest using that. A little cool thing cut w when we're outside. This is the best armor in the game for Tech it. It's the best armor in the game. They all have special abilities. If you're wearing this helmet and it's charged, you have unlimited underwater breathing. And I, I think you might have unlimited health, health actually. Uh, food. My bad, sorry. Chest, you can absorb almost all damage. The leggings and the boots, I'll show you in person. This is the coolest thing ever. Using the hotkey that it's attached to, I don't remember what it is because I changed it. Just look on the Tech It wiki. For me, my hotkey's M. Say you're running and you're wearing this armor and you want to go faster, click on your hotkey, bam, you go like 10 times faster. You just start like mega sprinting. And then if you're doing that sprint and you click spate, that's what the legs do. And then if you're wear if you're wearing the legs and the uh, boots and you're running and you jump, you can go super high. And with the boots, you take you only take fall damage if you jump from like water level to the bottom of the world. So like, watch this. This is a giant quarry, and I can just go like this. Watch this, guys. Wee boop. Nothing. Not a single scratch. So yeah, it's pretty much the best thing ever. Um, but so, it takes a ton of materials to make. You get, and for all these crafting recipes, guys, you can look it up on the wiki, or anything like that. A YouTube video series, besides mine, that, um, if you, I've kind of jumped into all this, so you guys will just see me playing as it. If you wanted more of a tutorial on how to actually make it, um, I'll probably do one of those, if you guys want. Um, but if you want a really in-depth tutorial that helped me a lot, um, I'll put this in the description. Check out Tech It with Duncan. He has an amazing YouTube series uh, on how to build things, and it really it's really helpful getting started. And then once you get it started, come back and watch me. Yeah. Um, but so uh huh. That's base. That's basically. Oh wow, there's so much more to show you. Um, this, if you guys have been wondering, is a throwing knife. There's a ton of new weapons, and so say you see a cow over there, you can just right click and be like, what y'all? And just throw it right at their face. And it's like a tomahawk. It bounces off. I know. It's awesome. Um, down here. This is my geothermal generator. It's pumping lava down from bedrock. And uh, here's my extractor. I was looking for that. 
um, it uh, gets the power. Normally this is like another generator, except I have it pumping into here, which is a bigger storage version of the bat box. As you can see, it stores a lot more power. And then I can put that into the quarry or something. Quarries take a lot of power. Um, and here is my... Did I already show you guys this? No. This is my storage room. Um, with all my materials, got some ton of nickelite, redstone, iron, I don't know why glowstone's in here, it just is. Emeralds, appetite, uh, d some dusts, rubies, bronze, uranium, all that good stuff. More of that good stuff. More of that good stuff. Yeah, and so my quarry is pumping out the good stuff into these chests. Over here, we don't have anything in these yet. These chests are just filled to the brim with cobblestone and other, other things. Nothing really amazing. This is my materials chest. And yeah. <clears throat> um, this is my... Oh, this is so cool. This is my dark matter furnace. You can make a red matter furnace. Um, which is even better, but I don't have the materials for that yet. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what this does. Basically, it's the fastest furnace except for the red matter. And it's so cool. Watch this. It's got like... One, two, but uh, not, <laughs> I'm so smart, nine slots, um, and look at that, you put it in, it's instantly doing the work that the macerator does, so you're going to get double, and look how fast it's going, and it's not even using that much coal, it's using a normal furnace amount of coal, giving you double the ores, and it's just amazing, stack these in on top of it, and as soon as it's done with that, it'll just get them going right there too, and it's just the coolest thing ever, and then it gets plopped right back into this side, it's super efficient, Super cool. The only, literally the only bad thing about it is it takes forever to make. It's, um, basically how you make it is, um, uh, a full outline of dark matter and then a furnace, dark matter blocks, and then a furnace in the middle, so that kind of takes a while. Um, down here is my failed attempt at a rail cart track like 10 times, because you, there's a ton of special types of rail carts and I can't, I can't do it. Um, so here's my macerator room. This is just a big organized area. Why are you going that way? Oh well. Um, uh, here's a ton of generators that put power into these macerators. That um, and then the quarry sends its ores down into here, where they're all sorted into the right furnaces, and they work like that. And then every all the dusts come through these cables and get sorted into these organized areas, where they're not working. Um, but so yeah, that's how it works basically. Not sure why that didn't work right there. Um, but yeah, that's basically how my world works. It's a little bit confusing, so don't uh, have a hissy fit if it doesn't work at first. It's really complicated. If you have any specific questions, you can ask me in the comments. <laughs> just do me a favor and just don't say, "How do I do that? How do I like?" How? I mean, like, if you have a specific question, like, "How do I use the macerator?" I'll answer it, but if you just say, how do I do tech it, then it's just like, you know what, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's kind of a hard question to answer all right that, so if you, if you have a genuine good question, please feel free to ask it in the comments, but if you're just going to leave it, if you're just going to say something stupid, then just don't bother, um, but yeah guys, that's my tech it world, this is our little world that we had a while back, um, I guess I'll continue playing on it. I have a ton of saves out there, like there's a little outpost I made over there, a mine, zombie spawner, mar there's a marble field over there, an awesome cave I'm going to build in, an NPC village, like four things of oil, oh yeah, my oil pump. Uh, oil is a material that you can be, it, you can refine and use for power. I haven't refined mine yet, um, I'm lazy. <laughs> so yeah, you find, oh, fell in the hole. You find this um little you find this pool of uh, 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 uh oh, I swear I can speak English a pool of oil it was running all throughout here and now it's getting pumped up basically you make this pump right here surround it with redstone engines pump it pump the redstone engines into it and then it'll send down a wire down into this cave or down into that thing. And it'll pump the oil out. You can put it through waterproof pipes, and it pumps back to your place where you can refine it. Um, the next thing is engines. Um, to make things transport, to allow things to be transported to and from pipes, or to use pumps, you need things called engines. Uh, I'll use this place as an example. Um, so, in our quarry, 
we have our quarry. This is the machine called the quarry. And um, this thing, it's just glitching. It should be moving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth like those things over there. Um, but basically, you actually, I think I might know why. I put this, grab this, oh, and that. Oh, you gonna work? No, I'm just glitching. Okay. Anyway, that's how it. Um, if you have a anything that puts out material, I'm trying to figure out the easiest and best way to explain this. So I'm um, all right. I'm just gonna use the quarry. If you have any questions about other things, you can ask me. So the quarry puts out the materials, puts out the materials it digs out the top, and um, it, and so it, as you can see, they're coming out the top. And if you put pipes through the top, they'll flow through those pipes, but only if you have this or any other type of engine. An engine it usually goes back and forth. I don't know why it's not doing that. It's annoying me. Um, and if you don't have the engine, it won't do that. But if you have the engine and a redstone, uh, if you have a redstone engine and a redstone torch powering it, the, or a lever, whatever you want to use, then it'll activate the, um, activate it, and it'll pump it out and through into any chest you can place it into. That's basically how pipes work. Um, you need a redstone engine or any other type of engine to get any pipe to actually send things, <coughs> send things, like I told you. <coughs> But yeah, that, that's the summary of it, guys. I, I'm sorry, this was a long video. Um, but I had to catch you guys up. Anyway, this has been our little Tacket project we did. And I hope to make another video soon. Maybe, probably not as frequent as they used to be. But um, I will try to get them up as soon as I can. As soon as my computer allows it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. Uh, watching too many syndicate videos favorite um and i'll talk to you guys soon okay bye-bye this has been easy craft